I'm Future Hendricks forever. That's who I am. My mom named me nobody is, but I am Future Hendricks. The way I live, I'm a rock star, period. People say I rap, but I know I'm a rock star. I'm a lifestyle, I'm a brand. Way beyond rap, man. Way beyond rap. Future Hendricks is me being different, making the type of music that I make, dressing the way I dress, doing the things that I do, rock star shit. Me with my shades on while I'm inside. I take them off, but I'm Future Hendricks. I gotta give you that full effect. When you can't see me, my action figure. Future's unique, his flow, you know, you, you can't really understand what he's saying, but that, that's the magic part about it. Future's music gets me live every time. When a song comes on, I can't do anything but dance. Dallas, are you ready for Future? He just bangs. Everything about him just hit. He came with his own style, with that sound is totally different. He's been dropping so much music, I can't keep up. Mixtape album, mixtape, mixtape album. One of the most consistent rappers out there. I've been going to the studio every day for the last five years. Every day. People are like, why you work so hard? Why you always in the studio? Why you work more than anybody? Because I know I'm gonna be worth more than them at the end of the day. I might not be now, but once my work catch up to my work, I'm gonna be a billionaire. The day gotta come where I feel like, man, I'm taking off a year. Like to give it a, a total break, a total break where I'm not even going to the studio. I feel like it's around the corner, but it just haven't came. If you know where you're going, it don't matter who you are, where you come from, how people look at you. Can't nobody tell you where you're about to go. I know what I'm doing. I am the wave. A surfer, they got 40 foot waves. And people get caught in the wave. They try to ride the wave and end up dying and get, get lost in the water. You know what I'm saying? Nobody makes it out the wave bigger than the wave. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can ride the wave, but you're not going to be the wave. I am the wave. Don't get caught in the wave. It's gonna be a powerful prayer. All right, heads bowed, eyes closed. Let's go before the throw. Give me five for the last name. Come on, yo, let's do it, man. All right, Heavenly Father, we come before you today in the name of Jesus, dear God, for it says in your word. Father, again, we thank you, dear God, for the success of your servant. We have three consecutive albums in seven months. Who can do that but you? Lord God, we ask right now that you would protect us on our ways, on the highways and byways, dear God. You say thank you and amen. Amen. Let's do it. All the times that I was in the streets and I was in hustling, doing what I was doing, I remember those days like vividly. No matter how far I go, I still can never forget going in the house of my grandma like, the police been over here eight times for you today. <laughs> so when I'm going through things like comments or going through something in the media, I vividly go back to that, <laughs> that, that moment and was like, snap out of it. It was way worse than this. I'm kind of role model, man. The things that you don't like about me, like, don't do it. The things that you love about me, man, that's what you need to take from future. All the mistakes that I make that you feel like they are mistakes, don't make them. You have a choice. And that's the kind of role model that I am. I'm living through my experiences. I'm giving you experiences to choose from. The best thing I can do is be myself. I know how to do me better than anyone else. If people try to tell you to change and do something else and try new things that you're not comfortable with, basically sell your soul. You're going to wake up and look in the mirror and you're going to feel like you don't know this person. I'm like, man, who is this person? I don't know this person. This is the person they told me to be. Like, I don't know how to be someone else. I know how to be future. Then one time I was riding in my car and I was just in L.A. And I was like, man, I got money. I'm happy. I live in L.A. It's a dream to come from where I come from and say you have a house in Beverly Hills. But I'm not happy. Like, this is not who I am. Like, I don't like walking outside and walking with my dog. That's not what I do. I'm not happy in this expensive car riding around lonely. You know what I'm saying? I don't have nobody to really talk to. And 
You know, so I just like, man, I need to go back home where I can pull up in my grandma's house and just tell her, fix me something to eat, grandma. I got both of my grandmas, by the grace of God, is still alive. And uh, my grandma had a, a heart attack, man. I wasn't there. I was in LA. I was like, man, we come from the generation where our grandmothers is like our mom. So it was just like, man, I had to think about that and like, man, I got to get back to my grandmothers. I just can't let that go and not be there when it happened. You know what I'm saying? I miss my auntie from the. I done been on the road, my auntie died, my auntie that used to take me to school. Like when I was rebelling, my mom was like, man, I'm not putting up with it. My auntie was always ride or die with me and to not make her funeral and just to be on the road. And then I was trying to cancel the show. They said it was gonna sue me. I just didn't need the media attention at the time. And my manager was like, it's gonna be too much. And I couldn't go to my auntie's funeral then. That was always there for me. And to this day, it's still, when I talk about it, I never really talk about it, but when I talk about it, it's just like, I know she knew I was working for my dream, so that's the only thing I felt like that she understood. She understood me not being there because she felt like, man, he was working towards something that he'd been working for all his life, and he was working towards something that people doubted him. And so I know she understood. Dallas, Texas, make some noise! We appreciate Dallas, Texas, man. It was all love in the building. Future Hendrix, three number one albums, less than seven months. It's hard, man, to get burnt out and uninspired. I'm afraid of what that is. I feel like God made me this way, man. He made me this way and I'm taking advantage of it. But also, like, you gotta understand, I have kids. As my kids get older, that's what's gonna take me away from spending so much time in the studio. Because um, there's just so many moments in their life that I wanna be there for, you know? And me, like, being in the studio this much, me doing three number one albums, you gotta think about the sacrifices that I made. <laughs> Man, I was just out with my little girl. I still got to wipe her mouth when she eating. And still got to cut her chicken up and cut the steak right for her and feed it to her. And my son, I still have to take him to the bathroom. He's learning how to use the restroom right now. He walked in there the other day and I'm sitting in the bed and he was using the restroom. It's, it's kind of gross. And it, he like, he naked, sitting by the bed, I'm like, what? He like, come and wipe me up. I'm like, it's a reality check. This is the day that they said, said me I have a number one album, and my son standing inside the of the bed, and naked, talking about wiping him up. I gotta teach him, man, it's crazy. It's crazy, but man, I love being a dad. It's super fun. And that's what I work for, you know? Got the three number one albums for my kids, man, to set a solid foundation for them. So no matter what, I want to make sure my kids is always good. They straight, like even my nephews and my nieces and my sister and my brothers. Like I truly work for my family. Like that's what I do it for. I do everything for my family. The reason I stay in the studio so much, the reason I go as hard as I go is because of my family. And right now I'm just at peace with myself. I'm not trying to be nobody else that I'm not. So when you try to be that, then people might find some time to like nitpick at you and just find shit that's not authentic with you. But I feel like my brand is authentic and I've been growing organically and just doing what I'm doing in my own lane and keeping it consistent. And I feel like with my fans, they're connecting off that. If the vibe change up, it's because creatively, that's where I wanted to take it.